Hey guys, my name is Neil and welcome to Neil Workshop Zone. So in this episode, we're going to solve, you know, more sums regarding triangles. So in our previous episodes, we solved some more sums and we also, you know, talked about the Pythagoras theorem, the Thales theorem, etc. So we haven't checked it out, I recommend checking out that episode. But in this episode, we're going to be solving some more sums. So without further ado, let's solve some sums. So I've got some questions right here and let's take the first question and let's solve it. So, the first question is, E and F are points on sides PQ and PR respectively of a triangle PQR. For each of the following cases, take whether E of is parallel to QR. And they give, I mean, they give some questions. So let me just take a normal triangle, PQR, let me draw a line. Let's take this as E and F. Let's see, so PE is 3.9 and EQ is 3. This one is 3.6 and this one is 2.4. Okay, so now let's solve sum. So, we need to prove that, you know, this triangle is equal in each way. Or not to prove, but to check whether they're equal. So, to do that, we can use the same way, which is uh, PE by EQ is equal to PF by FR by using basic proportional theorem. So let's check. So 3.9 by 3. Or let's take 3.0. Or we can just remove it and add over here. So um, 3 times are, 2 times are, is equal to 13 by 10, which is equal to, well, 1.3. On the other hand, you have 3.6 by 2.4. So if you take this out, we have 36 by 24, 2 plus 24, 2 by 18 is are. Uh, to 6 z 1, to 9 z 18, um, we have 9 by 6, so 9 by 6 can be written as 3, 3 2 z, so 3 by 2, so 2.0, 6 z 18, so obviously this is not equal to this, so because this is 1.3, and the answer for that is 3 by 2, here we well, have 13 by 10, so obviously the first answer is not equal. So now that we have, you know, understood how to do, do this, which is basically by, um, you know, taking PE by EQ or by using the basic proportional theorem and checking if both sides are equal or not, let's actually do the next sum. So the final answer for this is that no, um, it is not actually, no, it's not actually EF is parallel to QR or it's not, or, you know, EF is not parallel to QR. So now, let's remove the values and add new values. Let's add some over here. So, the next one is PE is 4 centimeters, QE is 4.5, PF is 8, and RF is 9. Okay, so now let's do this. So, 4 by 4.5 will be just 40 by 45, which means we can do it as 220, 12 by 9, so let's take this as 8 by 9. On the other hand, this is already equal to 8 by 9. So, this, um, so here we can prove that, um, you know, EF is parallel to QR, because when you take 4 by 4.5, you end up with 8 by 9. And here the uh, original one is just 8 by 9. So 8 by 9 is equal to 8 by 9. So this answer actually works. So this is how we do the sum. Uh, to check whether they are parallel or not. So now let's check the next one. Which is... Oh, I'm obviously... Uh, triangle but P Q R obviously and P Q is equal to 1.2 8 right? so they didn't give parts of it they just give the full value and P R is equal to 2.56 they gave the P E so this part is 0.18 centimeters and P, let's see, PF, so this part is 0.36. So to get these values, we obviously need to subtract 0.18 from total value. So 1.28 
minus 1.8 is equals to um, 10. Let's say, is it 1.8? No, it's 0.18. So, which means it is 2010, so 1.10. On the other hand, when you divide, uh, you subtract 2, 0.36 from 2.56, it comes up with 54, you know, 50 and 20. So, 2.20. So, it's 2.20 and 1.10. So, now that we have gotten these values, now let's do the sum. So, um, 0 0.18 by 1.10 is equals to 0 0.36 by uh, 2.20. So, it's kind of like this. So, now let's actually uh, divide them. So, we're taking out the point, we stand with 18. So, 18 by 1.10 is 18 to 5. So, 40, 0, 4, 5, 9, 90, and... Two nines are and let's see, two fives are ten, one two fives are so nine by fifty five. Um, let's see that. And over here, let's cancel this out. So let's take two tables, which is um, two eighteen and two hundred tens are two nines are and two fifty fives are. So the total values are nine by fifty five, nine by fifty five. So obviously this triangle is, you know, uh, parallel as well. So um, yeah, that is how we solve these sums. It's pretty simple. Um, but um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And that's all folks, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.